Hello, how you doing? It's Mr. Do The Math here, and today we're going to talk about inequalities, right? We're going to talk about all things inequalities on the basic level, right? So we're going to look at properties of inequalities, graphing inequalities on a number line, and like writing um, writing inequalities. And so let's just dive into it. Um, with inequalities, let's just dive into the properties, right? The properties of inequalities. Um, we know that inequalities represent like a portion, like a uh, region. It doesn't necessarily represent a solution, but a region. So you got this sign, this sign, this sign, and this sign, right? Um, if the x, if the variable is over here, this means that x is greater than um, a number. So that's going to be greater than. If it's facing the variable, it's less than, right? Um, away from or open to is going to be greater, greater than or equal to, which is what we say all the time. And then here is less than or equal to. Right? That's what this line means. This line means equal to. So basically it's saying that all of the all of these said numbers are going to be bigger than um, bigger than this number. I mean, this number is going to be bigger than, whatever this number is, is going to be bigger than whatever this is. Um, this is going to be less than whatever this is. This is this means it's going to be bigger than or the same as, you know, um, what's over here. Or less than or the same as, right? Um, and those are the properties. Now, when you think about graphing them on a number line, right, greater than and less than don't have the equal sign. So that means that. Um, whenever you graph them, it's going to be an open circle when you graph them on a number line. When you graph greater than equal to or less than equal to um, on a number line, it's going to be a closed circle. So the closed circle represents the fact that the solution could be that number. That's what this closed circle means. That's what it represents. Okay. So um, from there, let us dive into, uh, let's look at uh, writing linear inequalities writing linear inequalities. Then from writing linear inequalities, we'll talk about like graphing and looking at solutions. All right, so greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, or equal to. Okay, now there are, um, these inequalities represent something, right? Um, I guess I just could have kept it up, right? So this means less than. When you're in a, when you're in a word problem, if they say less than or fewer than, you'll use this. If they say uh, greater than um, or is more than, you'll use, uh-oh, you, I'm sorry. This is the greater than. So greater than or more than, less than or fewer than. This means at most, no, this means at least, I'm sorry, at least, at least more than or is less than or equal to. And this means at most, right? Less than or equal to means at most in the sense that like it can't be it can't be uh, more than the less than. It can be equal to, or it can be less than. But here, it's going to start at what is equal to and be bigger than. That's what at least means. At least means greater than or equal to. At most means less than or equal to. Okay. So um, if we were to look at this question here, it says a number, a number. W minus 3.5 is less than or equal to equal to negative 2, right? So a number W, that means that we got a W here. Minus means it's subtracted. Subtracted from here, it's going to be less than or equal to. Less than or equal to is going to look like this, less than or equal to. So to write this as a linear inequality, we'll just write it down. So a number w minus 3.5 is less than or equal to negative 2. Bam. There you have it. Right? There you have it. Okay? So um, let's look at another, another number. All right, another problem. All right, then we'll move on. <clears throat> This one says three 
Oh, look how I spelled three. This is horrible. Say threes. Three uh, is less than a number. Less than a number plus five, right? When it says less than a number, that's a variable. We'll make it X in this sense, right? So three is less than, which means that we'll put three is less than, right? A number X plus five, right? So it's plain, it's, it's straightforward, right? And what I'll, and, and the, the, the most important thing is making sure that you keep in mind what these symbols mean in words, right? Again, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Greater than or equal to is also at least, less than or equal to is at most, right? So those are the things that you need to keep in mind, okay? Now let's do some, let's do some more math, right? Um, let's talk about um, checking solutions, right? Let's check solutions. So they want to know, in this situation here, they want to know if negative 4 is a solution, is a solution of... This equation here so they'll give you this equation x plus 8 is less than negative 3 okay so in this particular problem what we're going to do is like so when you're checking the solution yeah we could solve it which which goes into the next lesson or we can just like if they want to know the solution you'll substitute this into the variable right so here we go let's substitute negative 4 plus 8 is negative 4 plus 8 less than negative 3 when you subtract these, you get 4. Is 4 less than negative 3? No, 4 is greater than negative 3. Therefore, 4 is not a solution of, negative 4 is not a solution of this particular equation. All right? So when you're checking for solutions, you're substituting. When you check for solutions, when you check, you substitute. All right? That's what you want to do. Let's do another one. All right? <clears throat> Also looking at let's let's do this example here where they want to know if this equation is um, a solution of negative six. So we're gonna say c plus four um, is less than negative one. Is negative six a solution? Again, you substitute, right? So it'll be negative six plus four is a uh, is it is a less than uh, negative one. So here we go. Let's do the math. Negative 6 plus 4, different sign, subtract and keep the, diff the, the, the sign of the bigger number, right? Same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. So negative 6, subtract it, you're going to get negative 2. Is negative 2 less than negative 1? Absolutely. Therefore, negative 6 is a solution, right? Negative 6 is a solution of this equation here, right? And so um, that is what it looks like to check solutions, right? Next, let's move on. Let's look at this. We're going to look at this same equation. No, no, let's simplify it. We're going to graph them now. Let's graph on the number line. Graphing on the number line. Graphing on the number line, right? All right, let's, let's start off with some simple ones, and then we'll, we'll complicate it, all right? Remember, greater than and less than is an open circle. Greater than or equal to is a closed circle. Less than or equal to is a closed circle, right? The direction of this arrow tells you, like, where the shade or, or where your solutions might lie, okay? I'll explain. Here we go. If I put down y is less than or equal to negative 3, what I'm saying is that this y, what I'm saying is this, whatever this y is, it's at least negative 3 which means it's a closed circle because it's equal sign, right? Or it's smaller than negative three, which means it's gonna be going further to the left. So if I was to graph this on a number line, right? I could start here by putting negative three here. So that was the focus. It's a closed circle because negative three uh, is less than or equal to, and then it's less than. So the arrow is gonna be going in this direction, right? So a simplified way to do it is just do like, look, shaded circle, negative three, arrow, bam. So all the numbers smaller than negative three and negative three included is a proper graph for this particular um, inequality, all right? Less than, smaller than this y, all right? Smaller than this number, all right? Let's do another one. Um, what about this? Look, two is less than x, 
right? Don't get caught up. Don't get um, thrown off by the fact that the two is here on the left side of the inequality instead of the X. All right, so there's two ways to look at it. You can either rewrite it, like flip everything, right? But make sure it's still open on this X. So this is the same as X being greater than two, right? So I think that might be a good thing to do. Just, just flip it, flip it. Making sure that it's open the same way that it is here. So it's open at the X. So when you read this, it's going to be X is greater than two. Remember, greater than means you got an open circle, right? Open, close. All right, so um, look at the number line, bop, bop, and we got two here, right? On the other side of two, you got three, four, X, Y, Z. Here you got one all the way to zero and keep going, all right? Now, if we're to graph this, it says X is greater than open circle at two because two is not included. It's everything bigger than two, and the arrow will be going in this direction, right? And so if we simplify this graph, it'll be a circle, two and an arrow going that way all right and we've just graphed this inequality okay so <clears throat> we're gonna start right here because you got more practice to do um, but essentially what we did was we talked about graphing inequalities right we talked about um, writing out inequality writing out um, linear inequality equations and we talked about checking solutions of inequalities all right so if you have any more questions, comment below. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, until next time, Mr. Do the Math.